Hey guys, this is Voice Tutorial. I'm Jacob, and today I'll be showing you part two of my series on how to look good in photos. Today we will be covering how to add muscles to your profile pictures in Facebook or whatever you want to do. So, uh, first off, here is our before picture, and we are going to go from this to this. We have added six pack abs, pecs, and also enlarged his muscles. For more information on how to enlarge muscles and lose weight, please check out the first video in the series, How to Lose Weight in Photos. Anyways, to start off, we are going to open a picture that we are going to edit. Here we already have our skinny guy. And now we need to find a picture of a model that has muscles and it's in a similar pose so we can basically copy his muscles and move them over to the other person. Um, I have this right here. Uh, just Google search uh, six pack abs is all I did a search on. So now we have my skinny before and we have our model. So now we're just going to basically copy our model's abs. Okay. To do that, just grab like a good cross section, something like this. Uh, copy it, control C. And then we'll move over to this and move it in. First, we're going to have to scale it down to make it about the same size. That's no problem. Scale layer. Um, GIMP has a scale layer tool if you don't want to do the numbers and just click on this and scale it down to UC fit until you get it to just about the right size. I think that'll do. Move it into place. And now notice that if we zoom in on this, uh, there's still some like background. What we want to do is erase that. So grab our eraser tool and we will just kind of get rid of that. Okay. And it's okay if you cut off some of the ab. If you cut off some of the pec, like let's say I did that, it's not that big a deal because we're just going to blend it in with his skin anyway. So uh, don't worry about cutting too close because it's just all going to blend in with him anyways. So anyways, once we have the pecs to our liking, uh, just try to basically match them up with his actual body uh, and trim down anything that kind of goes over. And, oh, yeah, that'll pretty much do it. We'll scale it down just a bit more. I think that will be better. Nah, I like that better. Okay, so once we have this, we're going to change a layer to match his skin tone. So to do that, we're going to go to Colors, and we are going to click on Colorize. Now, Colorize has three different sliders. Hue controls the shade or color. Saturation controls how intense the color is, with 100 being lots of color, 0 being none. And Lightness controls, of course, how bright it is. So reset those. Uh, just try to find something that matches fairly well. Um, once you get something that you like, it's pretty, pretty easy. Let's see, um, so this guy's got a bit more of a, a yellowish skin tone. It's, so we're going to try to find something that's closer to that. So we'll start off with our yellow. And notice as we slide this down, it starts to get closer to his skin tone. And you just keep on doing this until you find something that really works for you. And, and this might take some tweaking and some getting used to, but once you finally uh, hit a sweet spot, it'll be, see, yeah, there we go. We'll just keep that. Once you hit that sweet spot, things will go good for you. So once you think you found a skin tone that matches, we'll take this layer and we want to make this match up with him perspective wise. Uh, GIMP has multiple tools you can use to change the perspective. Um, if I wanted to, I could make it look more like it wraps around him if necessary, or just basically do whatever it takes to get it at the same angle as the man is standing in the photograph. Since this is a head on shot, we really don't need to do much. However, I am going to flip it horizontally because I believe that in this case, it will make it look a lot better. Now, okay, we've done that. So our next step, of course, is to blend these uh, pecs into his skin. So trim off any excess. And now we're just going to anchor the layer. Okay, so layer, uh, anchor layer. So now it's a part of him. Now what we're going to want to do is just grab our airbrush tool, 
and let's get our opacity at about 75 and then just grab and you're just going to want to kind of airbrush it along the, along the sides of this. Also notice that when I use the airbrush tool I'm using control click to grab colors from different areas of his body. For example, if I'm going to be airbrushing um, near the waist, I will use control click and grab a color from an area near the waist. Um, on the other hand, let's say I'm near the neck, I will use control click and grab a uh, color from the shadow of his neck and then use that to create the shadow. So by using different colors that are closer to the area you'll actually be airbrushing, it's a lot smoother and looks a lot more natural. Just attention to detail here, folks. Uh, nothing too difficult. Now, once we've done that, I like to use the blur tool. And just kind of click all around the edges. Just kind of blur the boundaries of what is him and what isn't him. And then I take the smudge tool. And we can just sort of take it and use this tool and really get in there and just kind of really blend the colors a lot better and sort of just really blur those lines until it eventually looks like one actual, like it's part of him. Notice we'll do that, we'll make great use of that with the shading here, making that look a lot better. Okay, so once you've got something that you feel like is good that you can work with, um, then you're going to want to just work with these edges. They're sort of... Mm, not fitting to his body, right? So we're going to use a technique we learned in the last video. So we'll go to tool dialogues, or filters rather, and we're going to use iWarp. Once again, it's under distorts, and click on iWarp. Now, let's notice this. Right now, these pecs, they don't look quite um, real enough to an extent. Let's just say, so we're going to go shrink in these sides and make them hug his body more. And do that as well with the bottom. So just basically get this going until you find, um, if you mess up, like I said, just press reset. And just get this until you can really get the abs looking a lot more real. Just kind of wrap them to his body shape, make it look like it's actually him. Um, maybe make it leaner at certain parts, whichever you, whatever you need to do. And then we'll move maybe his pecs out a little bit to make him look like they're actually growing. Move some things inward. And... That'll do for the abs. Now, what we need to do now is build his muscles up. I mean, there's no way he's going to actually have these awesome six-pack abs and these great pecs if he has arms that are that tiny. So this is just making use of the technique we learned in our last video. Once again, if you haven't seen that, look up how to lose weight in photos. It'll be on our channel. So we'll use iWarp again. And this time, we're just going to grow his muscles out. And just make him bigger, basically, up his shoulders biceps and all the joints that matter uh, if you make a mistake here let's say something just doesn't look quite real uh, it's totally okay if you just reset it and go back and try it again this is a sort of a trial and error thing until you get a feel for it but once you do it becomes tremendously easier once you've enlarged the muscles like i said we're just going to drag the shoulders out which gives the appearance of a broader shoulder makes them just look stronger in general and then we'll move these out a little bit and well, that just about it. I'm going to clean up his forearm, though. So we'll finish that. And once again, grow tool. And for our final touch, we're going to grab the skin tone from his uh, pecs and abs, and we are going to just brush them over the rest of his body with a low opacity. Set it to about uh, 50 45, something like that, and just kind of go over his arms here. The goal is to make this better match his peck and ab, because it's going to be hard to get the exact color down, obviously. So since you know you can't do that, just get the color, something close to that, grab any part of him, and just layer it over himself. With a low opacity, it'll just bring it closer to representing him. And then from there, you can just put it on top of that, and now it looks like that's his natural skin color. Um, and feel free to mess with this with blending, blurring, and doing whatever else it takes to make it look better. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're not going to get too in-depth. Um, but with using these simple tools shown in this video and the last video, you can easily get that 
technique or just making someone look a whole lot stronger and adding maybe is if it's just a joke on Facebook or you really want people to think you have six pack abs. I'm not sure what your goal is, but with uh, GIMP, you can do that for free. So that is all for this tutorial. Um, so here we're going to show you just everything that we did right quick, just so we can see just how far we came in the process. So here was where he was, and here's what we did. And there you have it. Uh, not that difficult a process. Really quite simple, and uh, if you take your time, you can really tweak it and get things to look a lot more natural. So that's all for today. Once again, I'm Jacob, and this has been another voice tutorial. Stay tuned for our next episode where I will show you um, some special tips for the ladies, how to get clear-looking skin and even add makeup and more, all using GIMP. Stay tuned. <laughs>